You look like you want to be spooked. Let me help with that. Curses have been talked about for centuries and have been the topic of debate on if they actually exist. And while there are many curses that can be dismissed as the work of creative minds, there are some curses that hold way too many coincidences to be overlooked. Here are 10 terrifying cursed objects that actually exist. Number 10 is the Crying Boy Painting. The Crying Boy Painting was a piece of art created by artist Giovanna Bregolin in the 1950s. After its creation, it quickly became popular and was thus mass-produced, being hung in many homes across Britain. However, it quickly became known for something else entirely. Reports say that many of the homes that this painting resided in randomly and mysteriously caught on fire, many of which burnt to ashes. If that wasn't strange enough, after cleaning up the debris, the painting was discovered intact and untouched by the raging flames. Number 9 is Anna Baker's Wedding Dress There was a girl named Anna Baker in the mid-1800s who fell in love with a low-class iron worker, coming from a wealthy family herself. They secretly planned their wedding and she even went out and bought a beautiful dress for it. However, when her father discovered the relationship, he shut it down and forbid her from marrying him. After that, she refused to marry anybody else and remained angry until her death in 1914. Since then, the dress has been put on display in the old Baker mansion. It's said to be seen moving by itself, which could be blamed on a draft until you find out that it's in a sealed, airtight glass case. It's believed to be the spirit of Anna, dancing her wedding dance that she never got to do during her life. Number 8 is the Bassano Vase. This solid silver vase was carved in the 15th century by an Italian maiden on her wedding night. That very same night, she was found murdered, clutching the vase in her arms. It was passed down to each of her family members, all of which died after coming into possession of it. It was hidden away but unfortunately rediscovered in 1988 with a note that read, Beware, this vase brings death. It continued claiming lives and was even offered to many museums, all of which denied it due to the curse. It was hidden again and its current location remains a mystery. Number 7 is Busby's Stoop Chair Belonging to convicted murderer Thomas Busby, this chair is considered one of the most haunted pieces of furniture. Before being hanged for his crimes in 1702, he requested to have his final meal at his favorite pub in his favorite chair. After he finished, he stood up and proclaimed, May sudden death come to anyone who sits in my chair. Since his death, it has claimed over 60 people's lives, all of which met their end shortly after sitting in that very chair. It was such an issue that it was donated to the Thirst Museum in 1972. It still resides there today and is hung 5 feet off of the ground to prevent any further casualties. Number 6 is the Hope Diamond. The Hope Diamond is the most famous diamond in the world and carries one of the most famous curses. This 45.5 carat $250 million diamond formed in the earth 1.1 billion years ago and has been in possession of many famous people since its discovery. As it's been passed on, it became known for the curse it possessed. Anyone who owned this precious diamond was plagued with misfortune. The diamond has been known to cause divorce, suicide, imprisonment, torture, and financial ruin. It now resides in the Smithsonian Natural History Museum and is not lended out for any purpose. Number 5 is Robert the Doll. In the early 1900s, Robert Eugene Otto was given a creepy life-size doll as a child. He grew an obsession with the doll, taking it everywhere with him and even carried it to adulthood. It was claimed to speak to Robert, flip furniture, walk around, and even drove his wife to insanity. It is now on display in a museum in Florida and continues to cause trouble. If guests of the museum disrespect Robert in any way or take his photo without his permission, he is said to cause misfortune, including divorces, car accidents, and death. Number 4 is the Myrtle's Plantation Mirror The Myrtle's Plantation is known to be one of the most haunted places in the world, but possibly the most haunted item on the premises is a mirror that was added to the home in 1980. Rumors state that the mirror contains the spirits of Sarah Woodruff and her children who were poisoned to death on the premises. People report seeing figures lurking in the mirror and child-sized handprints appearing on the glass. 
Number three is the Elmo Knows Your Name doll. A mother in Lithia, Florida bought her toddler a talking Elmo doll that is programmed to learn your child's name by being plugged into the computer. While replacing the batteries, she noticed it saying her son's name and instructing him to die. Fisher Price, the manufacturer of this toy, cannot give an explanation as to why this one doll wants to kill James. Number two is Annabelle the doll. Originally found in an antique shop, this Raggedy Ann doll was purchased from a mother to her daughter as a gift. Over time, the doll started appearing in different rooms, found in different positions, and was even found with bloodstains on its clothing. After having enough, the girl contacted Ed and Lorraine Warren, the most famous paranormal investigators at the time. They determined that the doll was possessed by a demon and was later given to the Warrens. They locked the doll in a glass case where it remains today in their occult museum in Connecticut. And number one is Utsi the Iceman. Utsi was the name given to a prehistoric caveman found preserved in ice in the Italian Alps. He is believed to have been murdered by other cavemen due to the blunt force trauma they found on him. This could explain why he is now cursed and out for revenge. Everyone who comes into contact with Utsi has died in tragic ways. He was discovered in 1991 by two German tourists. One of the tourists, Helmut Simon, died in the same spot Utsi was discovered in 2004 after falling from a cliff due to a snowstorm. The person who tried to rescue Helmut died from a heart attack, the first archaeologist who studied Utsi died, and the head of the forensic team who studied Utsi died as well. The mountain climber who brought the forensic team to Utsi died, and even the person who recorded Utsi being carried out of his grave died. As for many others, all seemed to die in freak accidents or from fatal illnesses and complications. You can now view Utsi for yourself in the Tyrol Museum of Archaeology, but do so at your own risk. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a video. Be sure to follow my TikTok along with all of my other social medias that are linked in the description. I will see you all in the next video, and as always, stay curious.